Hey YouTubers, resin maniacs, kit builders alike, all around the fruited globe. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Resin Maniacs with me, your host, Shaky Dave. Um, today we're doing a product review. Uh, and you're going to be finding as we go, we're going to review different uh, bits of equipment, paint, tools, things like that, that you can use in the hobby to help you become a better diorama builder, uh, kit builder, painter, what have you. And what I have for you today is the most indispensable tool I have used since I was first into this hobby when I was 16 years old and I had it on VHS. Um, Model Mania by David Fisher, the one and only David Fisher. Um, basically what you're looking at is, uh, these first came out on VHS back in the go-go nineties, uh, back when, um, a lot of modelers today had more hair on their head and less on their balls. Uh, and we all use these, these, these videos, uh, spread throughout the hobby very quickly. Um, and it was basically David Fisher giving you all his secrets, but in them he also not only does he tell you how he does his tips and tricks, but he does a good job of uh, going over different products with you, uh, airbrushes, things like that. And what we're looking at here is, this is uh, volumes one through three. Uh, now back in the day, they came in single sets and uh, volumes one through three. One is basically getting you started. If you're not even aware of what a resin kit is or a vinyl kit or anything like that, this kind of, uh, takes you through it um, and basically he starts showing you what airbrushing is showing you the fundamentals of the hobby um, essentially like you know washes dry brushing um, and you, you basically learn everything you need to know to get rolling and then there's uh, video two uh, video two is more in depth um, and he goes more into uh, airbrushing. He also goes into, uh, you know, uh, different types of flesh tones and things like that and different types of shading with washes. Um, and then um, episode three is where it really opens up for diorama building. And I remember the first time I saw episode three and I saw all the stuff he pulled out to build dioramas. I was a little overwhelmed because uh, uh, at the time I was just an out of the box builder and I was like, there's no way I could use this stuff, all the, everything he has. And now uh, my arsenal has a lot of what he uses in it. Um, and the other good thing about the, uh, these videos is he goes over colors. Um, I remember when I was uh, 16 years old and I first saw, I'd never even heard of what raw sienna was. I mean, I just knew testers and enamels. Uh, I painted my kits with those. I was like, it's a model. I should use model paint. And I learned about acrylics. And uh, I didn't even know what a wash was. And he shows you in the videos how to uh, mix them up. And you uh, use them for, uh, you learn you can use them to cover bases, spot washes, and things like that. Uh, indispensable. It also comes with, at the end, the beauty shots. And uh, beauty shots are just some of his work. Now these have been revised and updated uh, to show um, more, a lot of his newer stuff as well too. And uh, as you can see, there's just some of his work, um, basically, uh, you know, the, what you see in the beauty shots. And um, it's uh, $34.95 plus $4 shipping, and it's the first three volumes. And I remember, if I'm not mistaken, back when I first bought these, it was about that much for each video. So you're getting three videos for essentially the price of one. And I'm seriously, you cannot buy the first three without buying the, the last two. Um, these are the last two uh, videos right here, and in this he covers... Uh, once again, goes more in depth, but he also shows you some new things like um, uh, suntan uh, skin tone, how to do tattoos, uh, hair. And this one is really good too because uh, with the hair, because not only does he show, he shows you how to do different types of hair color, he also shows you how two different ways to apply real hair as well. 
um, shows you how to paint uh, basically one-to-one -one scale eyes that you see um, in the uh, uh, cover here. And uh, he also covers uh, pastels. And I have to say, out of the whole series, one of the most almost addictive ways of painting is the pastels. I mean, they've almost become a crutch to a lot of the hobby. They are a godsend, the poor man's airbrush. Um, but uh, he covers pastels, um, hair, tattoos, um, and um, you also see a lot of transition in the hobby with these videos as well, too, which is what's really great because... Um, in uh, the first one, he starts out using the testers or model master Aztec. And then later in this, you find he upgrades to the uh, SOTAR 2020. And man, that was so many years ago. I'm sure he's moved on to another airbrush then too. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a great coverage of time and the hobby as well too, because in the first video, you start out with his uh, beautifully feathered, just, just goth metal hair that you can tell breezes so beautifully in the wind. And then when we fast forward again to the later, a much older, more reserved, almost conservative David Fisher with a, um, not quite such a dashing hairstyle. But, um, these are both quite seriously now, very indispensable. I have a lot of people uh, that I talk to in the hobby and I'll bring stuff to Wonderfest and other kit shows and things like that and they ask me, oh, how'd you do that? How'd you do this? How do you do that? And I tell people the same thing every time. Well, I watch the shit out of Model Mania and I don't just look at the pictures in AFM. I read it. Um, and what a lot of people don't understand with these two videos right here especially is that what he shows you for example, in the later video on how to do stone work, a lot of that I extrapolated to doing flesh work too. Um, every, all the techniques he shows you, the colors and what he's applying it to can actually be fairly arbitrary and can be applied to other things. You just change your color up. Uh, you, you're just using that technique again. Um, and uh, again, I can't, I cannot, overstate how indispensable these videos are. If you don't own them, go to modelmaniadvd.com. They are both $34.95 each plus $4 shipping and handling. Um, and I'm quite sure if you order both, it's probably, you know, four bucks just for both. We'll see. You can also probably order them at amazingmodeler.com. That's AFM's website. And uh, once again, they both, one of the funniest things about them are the beauty shots on them. They're very inspiring. Um, and the fun part about the growth of the videos is a lot of the things you're going to see in them overwhelm you at first. And then as you apply them and as you try them, before you know it, you're building dioramas like he is. You're modeling like he is. And you, these videos will seriously make you surprise yourself if you just use them and apply them. Um, thanks for tuning in to this episode. It's been a while since um, we uh, came back at you with anything new. And today we're coming back at you with something a little old. But again, in the future, we're also going to be reviewing other uh, tools and items in the hobby, airbrushes, paints, things like that. Um, but this is one of the most important tools in my arsenal. And it's just as important to me as Q-tips. Um, and uh, thanks for tuning in to Resin Maniacs. And uh, if you're not a Resin Maniac, well, that's not our problem. <laughs>